Alright guys, in this video I'm just going to teach you a really simple, simple, simple trick that you can use uh, well, simple tip that you can use in order to um, just add a little bit more flair to your playing alright, and it's super, 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 super simple okay, so basically what um, uh, I've been teaching you with the chords is I've taught you two versions of the chords I've taught you the basic version where it's G, D, E minor and C and I've taught you the easier variations which I recommend for people who have trouble with uh, changing chords and swapping chords uh, doing chord changes so that you know you basically have these two fingers locked down onto the here while you while you play the chords, all right. So basically, what this tip is that um, um, it's basically transitioning quickly between two different chords in order to just add more uh, of a sort of like a rhythm to the song. And I'll just show you with a quick example. Like, so I could play G, D sustain four, E minor, seven, C at nine. So this is how you may normally play it. So this is that's how you normally play it. This is how uh, I would play it with that simple transition between two chords. All right, so it goes. All right, so you hear the difference. So basically, all I was doing there is when I was playing D sustain four, all I was doing was I was lifting my pinky finger and putting it back down up and down, up and down, so that it's transitioning between the D major chord and the D sustain 4 chord, right? And you can use this, you can do this when you're using the normal chords as well, so like if I was playing D, playing the, using the basic chords, it would go... So you can do that finger hammer on, hammer off, the little pinky off on the string, off the string, whenever you go to the D chord. And that's just a just a way of just adding more to the transition, alright? So that's just a really simple tip. Just just change between D and D sustain four quickly. Okay? And one way I recommend going into it is I recommend going from G into D first and then hammering down your pinky finger just putting your pinky finger down so it's D sustained 4 okay to get that sort of dun, 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 rhythm uh, as you go through a song okay so that's my super super simple simple tip you know to just add a bit more to your playing okay so try that out it's really well simple and you know just add more to your music <laughs>